Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. I have a two post lift, so I'm going to raise mine up. You at home can jack it up and put jack stands underneath on a nice secure spot. I've already taken the liberty of spraying down the rusted bolts here on the mid pipe. And on the front, on the triangle pipe where it meets the front Y pipe. Now I'm going to remove these two bolts. This is a 15 millimeter socket and this is a 12 millimeter wrench in the back here. So it's a nut, 12 millimeter nut, 15 millimeter socket. This is a spring bolt kit. Exhaust has spring bolts on them to help during uh, acceleration. Instead of a solid piece, it would rip the exhaust. So if you were to gun it or have heavy acceleration, it, it picks up the, the motion in the exhaust with the motor, having a little bit of tweak to it. There's two of these in the midway pipe. I'm not going to reuse the old ones because the springs break down in tension, so I've already ordered the new ones. I'm going to get to the top one. I'm going to spray the rubber hangers with some penetrating spray. So this way I have a better chance of it sliding off the exhaust. Now this exhaust is, uh, is out in the open, so I can take it all down on one piece, which is nice. So I'm going to get a helper to help me hold the exhaust up and take it all down in one piece. You can cut it if you need to at home. If you don't have a helper, you can cut the pipe because we're just discarding any of it. So you can cut the pipe here and here. But I'm just gonna disconnect it from the rubber hangers and lower it down as one piece and save myself some time. Undoing the rubber hangers, I use a pair of adjustable pliers. You can use a pry bar. They do make a tool for it. This works for me. I've already pre-lubed it, like I showed you, so it will come off with a smooth motion. I'm gonna get dirty. So I'm gonna use a pair of adjustable pliers, and I'm going to disconnect it from the top of the rod, the mounting rod, because the longer one, the bottom one is longer. So that would be next to impossible. So I just grab the steel, push the rubber on it like that, and adjust the pliers to keep going back and pry them off. You could probably use your hand at this point. You've got four total, get two on the bottom, two on the inside, two on the outside. There we go, that one's off. I'm gonna move over to the outer edge one. This one's more difficult to get at. switched over to a pry bar so that I can get a better angle at everything. That being caught in that fender well, and that flare, it's pretty tight in there. There we go. Move over to the passenger side. 
like I said, whatever works best for you, adjustable pliers or a pry bar. Let's see if I can use the... Oh, that came off good. I still left the center hanger on for that particular reason. Because I knew that if this was coming down, I wanted this to, to save me from dropping down on me. Now I'm gonna have someone help me and hold the exhaust up while I undo that mount. I left finger tight, a bolt in the front here. So that way I can control the front once I take this hanger down. Like I said, I have someone holding up the, the back. Now I move to the front here, and I'm gonna untake this bolt out, toss it aside, and I have the ability to hold on to it and lower it down to the ground. Like I said, if you don't have someone at home helping you to take it down in one piece, you know, you could pre, I would cut it here before this hanger, so this piece you can control, come down, and then you can pre-cut here, in there. So you can take each muffler out individually. I'm gonna remove these three nuts. It is a 14 millimeter socket. I, like I said, I pre-lubed and sprayed them so it would soak. That's gonna round off. Yep. So these nuts are rounding off while I'm trying to take them off with a socket or a wrench. They're on there pretty good. So I don't have heat to heat these up and spin them out. And I'm assuming you won't at home either if you're doing this. So I do have what they call twisty sockets. And you can go to a parts store and get these, a tool store. And how they work is this is a 15, 14 millimeter nut and this is a 14 millimeter twisty socket. So it goes on there. I like to tap them on with a hammer till they bottom out. And they've got to be flush and on there straight to work correctly. So put that on there. Just take a 3 8 ratchet. And I'm gonna give it my best. Okay, here we go. Takes that nut right off. Now to get it out of the socket, I, if you have a vise, or I just use a hammer on, a, on the vise, I steal on the piece of steel and hit it and knock it out. I'm gonna follow this process all the way around. If this happens and you do get them off nice and clean, and you know, you discard, you can't reuse those. So we're gonna need to get, you really wanna get the locking nuts. They make them out of copper now, you can get them. Just three locking nuts. Top nut, I had to use a combination of things. Still use that twisty socket to break it free, but I had to use a swivel on the end of that. Get it off by hand now. Let's see if I can twist it off. So now with all those three, those three nuts out of the way, we're just gonna move to the center piece here. Last bolt is the hanger bolt. It's mounted to the transmission here. Once this comes out, it's got the three studs that it's the flanges in in the front. I'll loosen this up as much as I can. And even, you can take this bolt completely out. See the design of the flange, it's got this lip. 
So even when this bolt comes completely out, the exhaust won't fall down on top of you. Before I take it completely down, I'm gonna do a quick visual and make sure that this exhaust doesn't have an O2 sensor in the secondary. That would be just a resignator. It's not a converter because there's no O2 sensor in it. It would have to be an O2 sensor after it if it was a converter, and therefore it is not. So there's no wires attached. Take that right out by hand. Let that rest in there. I can put my tools down and we'll work it out. So I'm gonna grab it firmly and I'm gonna lift it up over this hanger. Hopefully be able to pry. I might have to get a pry bar to bend that lip over. It's no big deal. So I'm gonna lift this up. Put that in there like this, and it down. Now I can guide it out of the bolts in the front. And lower that piece down, we're all set. Install the new gasket, line the bolt holes up. And then you just have to walk it down. Sometimes they're not fitted 100%. Ah, there you go, that's good. Leave that there and then you're gonna pick up the pipe, put the bolt hole, line the pipe up with the flange on the studs and then put in the hanging bracket. So I'm gonna line up the bolt holes, the two long lower studs, top stud, and now I've got that bracket. That's a great design, it has that flange on, so it's holding it, and I can go get my mounting bolt for that hanger and uh, tighten it up. I'm just going to put this finger tight because I don't want it snug, because I want the nuts on the flange, front flange to be able to pull the exhaust forward and make sure it's bottomed out here. I got three new locking nuts, so the other ones were stripped heads. So I'm going to put those on. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my 14 millimeter socket and tighten those up. I think I'm going to have to get a longer extension to get up there. Let me see if I can get to the top here. I'm just gonna go to all three of them and really keep going around and snug them right down. Okay, those are nice and touched. Tight. I'm going to move to my hanger. There's a 14 millimeter socket still. Snug that up. Then we're going to now install the rear muffler assemblies, which is another mid pipe that has a Y pipe welded to it, and then each muffler, left and right muffler. Mid pipe, donut gasket, goes on the way of the taper. You don't want to, you don't put it on this way. You put it on 
so the taper goes in into the new pipe. The new pipe has a tapered end on it. You can see the tapered end. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you guys know it. So first I'm going to do is lift this up and I'm going to install the hanger part into the rubber mount. The rubber hanger that hangs down midway. Right here. I'm going to take liberty and spray this again so this goes in smoothly. Okay, now that nice and this steel tube should, the hanger part should go on a lot smoother. You can squeeze it on with your hand. Perfect. Now I'm going to hook this part up down here. And I have a spring bolt kit, bolt kit that I'm going to install. So I'm going to grab my spring bolt kit and put that in. When assembling your spring bolt kit, it comes with this big sleeve on it, and that's where the spring sits on this side. Then you put it on the abutting flange on this angle. This is going to be a little difficult because I need to have someone hold this up so it stays at the right angle. Maybe I can get it to. Oh, I got it. Right. Let's walk our way down the pipe. See if I can keep it there. There we go. Put the bolt right through. Now I can start the nut. Just enough at least so this isn't going to go anywhere. Now I'll put the top one in and we'll tighten them up. I'm going to put the rubber hangers on before I put the muffler up in here. I'm on the passenger side first. It doesn't matter which side you do first, but I'm just happy to be on this side. Now I have not tightened up the mid pipe spring bolt kit, and that's for a reason. You don't tighten up the bolts down there until the muffler is up in and, and bolted in. Okay, so now I'm going to be able to fish this muffler up. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put the front hanger in first. Hope that makes it a little bit easier for me. Now to get that inner muffler hanger in, just pull the rubber forward. I'm going to probably end up spraying these to make it a lot easier. Okay. Now you got to get four bolts and nut and a gasket, which I've already done. This is why you don't tighten that front pipe because I, am, I have to move it and manipulate it around. Put the, bolts through the top, line up the gasket. Fish it in there. I don't have to put a nut on, there's enough tension here on the pipe. I'm gonna line up the top one, do the same. Squeeze them together. I'll start both, put both nuts on. I'm just going to hand tight them and then I'm going to move the same process on the other side on the driver's muffler. I did spray these rubber gaskets this time. are in place. And I'm going to get the bolts in the gasket. All right. So now I replace, I put my gasket in place and I put the two bolts through just like I did on the other side. And I'm going to hold them with my fingers on the back and manipulate this pipe in. Just 
who's there. Start my start the nut on the top bolt. And then do the same to the bottom. Now on this case, I am definitely going to tighten up these two mufflers before I tighten that spring bolt kit because some of these hangers, sometimes they get bent in storage. See, I don't like the way that one's looking. I might end up having to pry that down, which is gonna manipulate the angle of, of the pipe on this. So when you buy aftermarket exhaust, you've gotta be prepared to do a little custom making, <laughs> line things up. So now I'm gonna tighten the bolt and nut that I have gotten out of my bin, because you have to replace them. Uh, they're 17 millimeter, my particular ones I'm using are gonna be 17 millimeter. Now I'm gonna tighten the passenger side. Then I'm gonna move over to those spring bolts in the front. down to the spring bolt kit, tighten those up. I do believe that's a, it's gonna be a 15 millimeter. Might need to be, it's probably standard. So I'm gonna end up using 16. Let's see what the size back is. It's going to be 13. Yeah, 13. These are going to bottom out. They can only go so tight, and they're designed that way for a reason. and look at the exhaust and see how it's sitting in the mufflers. It's not hitting any pipes up here. This hanger seems to be in a good location. It's not manipulated in the wrong way. We're clear here. And now when I uh, lower it down, I, I don't like the way this tailpipe's sitting. So I'm gonna try to manipulate this hanger to bring this tailpipe to clear the bumper. To do that, I'm gonna use a uh, pry bar. lower it down because now it sits just like the other one and when it's lowered on the ground the suspension should bring the bumper up so it looks like we're home and clear let's start thanks for it. watching visit us at 1aauto.com for quality auto parts fast and free shipping and the best customer service in the industry